Six steps as an empty nester downsizing you need to know. Hi, welcome to Real Estate Stats and Stuff with Brenda Kay and the sweet Miss Frankie. Today we're talking about steps for getting ready if you're downsizing. Let me tell you, downsizing can be overwhelming. And if you wait until the sold sign gets hung on the, the uh, yard and you've got eight weeks to move, believe me, it will be stressful. It will be overwhelming. These six steps over time will help you get ready. So the first thing I did, as I've been through this, the first thing I did is went in my closets, all the closets basically in the house. What don't I use anymore? What don't I wear? <laughs> Guaranteed I'm not gonna get in that size eight evening dress that I've kept around for 30 years. So, you know, you can, you can have Diabetes Association pick them up, you can drop them off. Now, because of COVID, please check and see um, what the the rules are right now so non-emotional items non-emotional items in the house things you've collected over the years i mean i had a two foot paper mache bird hidden in a closet so, so uh, you become blind to it you don't even realize it's still there get hubby to clean out the garage and the shed get rid of things get rid of things that you know uh you're never going to use again uh step three most top agents will use a stager. The stager's gonna come in and say, you know, take this off, take that off. Um, like for instance, my mom has a, a beautiful cabinet of Royal Dalton, right? So take those, pack them up, they're ready for the move. You know, the stager wants the buyer to come in and visualize their belongings in your home. So pack it up now, it's done. So that makes that easy. Clean out the closets, or sorry, clean out the cabinets in the kitchen and the bathroom. Well, hello. I had things in my cabinets, because of course we all had time during COVID to say, you know, let's tackle a few things in our house here. You know, I had dishes up in the top cabinets that when we were young and had the energy to entertain, oh, use them all the time. Haven't been out of there in 10 years. So have a yard sale, see if your kids need any, but clean out your kitchen, bathroom, and cabinets. Man, I don't know how many curling irons I found in the bathroom. Um, list the furniture and chattels that you know you're going to sell when you have your home sold. You don't want to sell them now because you don't want the home to look too empty when buyers come in. I knew like from the bedroom sets, you know, two of my boys had both claimed some of the furniture. So what I did is I got a list of everything I knew that the kids didn't want and how much I want it for it, had the list. Again, I was ready to go once the sold sign went on the house. Call the moving companies, get a price. We hadn't moved in 25 years. And when we did move 25 years ago, the boys carried everything themselves. They were young, they were healthy, they were strong. Well, let me tell you, not only are they not young and strong anymore, the cost is crazy. So get three or four quotes, find out who you're comfortable with. And then when I hang the sold sign on, give them a call and you're ready to go. You know, most important too, if you're a widow or a widower, even if it's, you know, 12 months down the road, I might be selling. You can do a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, you know, um, lean on family and friends, you know, take your time getting ready so you're not totally overwhelmed. So that's the six steps if you're an empty nester that you do before you, you go. Um, the stats, what's going on in the market here in Halifax, we have active right now 900, 921 uh, listings. New ones were 116, get this, sold 177. I mean, we're just, sell, every week we're selling more than what we have coming on the market. And days on market are 35. And the average price right now out there slipped down from over the 400 mark last week at $366,000. If you're interested in value of your home, please reach out to us. Anyone on our team would be more than happy to give you an evaluation of the home. This, as always, is the sweet Miss Frankie. I'm Brenda Kay of the Halifax Home Selling Group. 
Hope you enjoy this video. Subscribe, subscribe if you like our videos. Cheers.